A few days ago, the official director of game publishing at Lilith Games revealed that we're going to be getting two new commanders coming to Rise of Kingdoms. We have Sargon of Akkad or Sargon the Great. And please forgive me for mispronouncing this, but I believe the other commander is G. Kaluyong. I know. Yikes. That was rough anyway i don't know why nobody is talking about these two new confirmed commanders but today we're gonna go over everything we know so make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe for more rise of kingdoms content as soon as it comes out okay so what we know about these two new commanders comes directly from nelson woon this is the director of game publishing at lilith games and farlight games and a few days ago on the official rise of kingdoms vietnamese youtube channel they live streamed what i appears to be a player meetup in Vietnam and this was a three hour live stream where they went over a ton of different things including the new anniversary events that we already have in game today they also did I believe like a champions of Olympia gameplay segment and they did some trivia and it was a cool event and I would love for them to do something like that here in New York City so Lilith a hey, if you're gonna if you're gonna come to the city let me know but about 25 minutes into the video there was about a 10 minute segment where Nelson came on stage and was basically doing a face to face with the developers but like literally face to face like this comes directly from his mouth and luckily this part of the video is actually in English so we know exactly what he said but of course the part that was most interesting was that he did reveal we will be getting two new commanders coming to the game in the form of Jika Lu Yong and Sargon of Akkad now Nelson does have a little bit of an accent so it was hard for me to tell exactly what he said it sounded like he said saga the first but I believe he said Sargon the first which is Sargon the Great aka Sargon of Akkad now as I always do in these videos these are sort of mock-ups of what they might look like in Rise of Kingdoms of course these commanders are not in the game yet these pictures were made by me okay so don't go spreading this around Facebook groups saying that this is this is real all right that this is these are confirmed commanders but these images are not from the game okay so what do we know about these two new commanders well what Nelson told us is that we we will continue to get new commanders as well as new prime commanders but they're also working on new season of conquest commanders that are exclusive to a particular story in kvk so just like we saw torgny and wafura come into the game as engineering commanders for one specific kvk game mode it looks like gk luyong and sargon of akkad are going to be kvk story specific commanders which honestly to me is a little bit of a bummer right because when you look at torgny and wafura right i don't mind those commanders being kvk specific because they don't have any historical significance they don't have any real importance right they're literally just characters from rise of kingdoms so getting them for free in kvk is cool having them have a unique ability is fine it is what it is but here we have two commanders that are you know according to nelson going to be uh kvk specific commanders and they seem to have historical significance right these commanders you may have already heard of especially uh, at least here in the western speaking world sargon is i believe pretty well known right but regardless it seems like these two commanders are going to play a role in a future kvk game mode so that's something to be looking forward to now i pulled up the wikipedia page for jika luyong and again i apologize i'm probably just destroying that name i really do apologize but this web page was only available uh on the Vietnamese version of Wikipedia so we can go through and translate it directly into uh, Google Translate but it looks like he was a prime minister public servant and God is that just a poor translation or is that sort of some symbolic thing I, I don't know but uh he was a politician diplomat military commander educator and also a famous technical inventor of the Du Han dynasty of the Three Kingdoms period. It says not only is he more talented than other people, he is also famous for his devotion to the nation. Now, of course, we can't really deduce what sort of commander he might be based on a Wikipedia page. We can't say that he's, you know, what troop type he's going to be or what talents he's going to have. Obviously, we don't know anything about that. If he's going to be similar to Torgi and Wafura, then we might assume that he has the engineering uh, talent tree. But there's literally no evidence to suggest that either, other than the fact that the the other kvk commanders have that which there's no rule saying that every kvk commander is going to be an engineering commander so again we don't know for sure what this commander is going to look like once they enter rise of 
kingdoms taking a look at sargon of akkad's wikipedia page he's also known as sargon the great he was the first ruler of the akkadian empire known for its conquests of the sumerian city-states in the 24th to 23rd centuries bc he's sometimes identified as the first person in recorded history to rule over an empire so really awesome stuff here he was the founder of the sargonic or old akkadian dynasty which ruled for about a century after his death until the gutian gutian conquest of sumer his empire is thought to have included most of mesopotamia now this image right here i believe that th this is uh i believe this is gilgamesh from civilization so yeah obviously some of you may have seen this uh, around anyway now as far as when can we expect these commanders i honestly have no idea as a part of a kvk we have to assume that they will be implemented with whatever kvk they're a part of and uh during this vietnamese meeting player meetup whatever it is Nelson did reveal some more information regarding KVK so basically he was asked when will the new season story become available and this is what he said we're planning on releasing two new stories in late October 2022 he also referenced early November as well so this could be pretty soon in one of the new stories players will be divided into two camps each camp will have three starting points and you will play against other players in a three versus three battle the terrain if of the new story will be centered around the theme of egyptian styled deserts another highlight of the story will be featured an all new talent and skill system so we've had hints at that for a while now as he mentioned this kvk is going to be featured around osiris and who controls the kingdom after osiris is gone or something like that so that's going to be really cool but i don't think that these commanders are going to be a part of an egyptian themed kvk so we will have to wait and see whatever the next kvk format is perhaps after that and that's probably when we will see these new commanders he also talked about ranged combat and he mentioned they are planning uh, to introduce ranged combat around October to November of this year so we could be seeing ranged combat in rise of kingdoms as soon as next month which is really exciting he said ranged combat will be included among a set of brand new game features that we will be calling the military formations system for example ranged troops will be able to attack troops from afar and alliance flags will have ranged attack abilities meanwhile defensive troops can establish a defensive line to defend against an enemy's advance at close range they're also working on adding actual military formations historically used by different civilizations in history so that's really exciting military formations uh being dependent on your civilization could be really really game changing uh this could affect how good a civilization is in actual pvp right this could be yet another way to decide what civilization you want to play as in the early game in the late game based on what military formation they have available so now no longer will they just have the civilization buff and the special unit but they will also apparently have their own military formation which i think is going to be super super cool hopefully these new game mechanics uh, are going to be really polished and exciting and bring basically breathe new life into the game uh, and it does seem like they've been testing these things out for a long time we first heard word of military formations a while ago a couple months ago so uh, it does seem like they are really testing this out and hopefully it's just really good when it comes into the game because uh changing things up is always exciting especially for a game that is celebrating its four year anniversary we've been playing a, a very similar version of the game for four years uh and so range combat and new things like that are always uh greatly appreciated if they're done really well he also said that they're going to be doing improvements to kvk matchmaking for the season of conquest which is good um we've had season of conquest for a long time now so somebody who's been in season of conquest since the beginning is going to have a much more advanced account than somebody who's just entering season of conquest for the first time this was the reason that they added the uh the museum here in rise of kingdoms right this was to sort of uh bridge that gap between new season of conquest and old season of conquest kingdoms but it looks like they are further implementing matchmaking to address this issue as well and finally returning to the topic of civilizations he did say that they are planning to make a new civilization available for the first half of next year now 
we do know in the video where they revealed call of dragons right they remember that's the other game that is being brought to us by farlight games which is a division of lilith games so basically rise of kingdoms 2.0 at the end of that video they did say that they want to work on implementing civilizations at a faster rate after seeing that my prediction was that we would see a new civilization by uh, february right um this you know he says first half that could be up until june right so that doesn't really give us uh, a good idea as to when this new civ is coming other than we know that they are working on it it will be implemented and they're trying to get it out by the first half of next year i believe that vikings came out in june of 2021 and we got egypt in i think july or august of 2022 so having it come out in june of 2023 for example isn't a faster civ release cycle so i do think that it you know hopefully it'll be within the first quarter of 2023 rather than the first half if they're going to implement uh sieves at a faster rate than they have in the past anyway guys that's pretty much all of the exciting stuff that Nelson revealed during this official rise of Kingdoms players meetup now it's also worth noting that these two new commanders that he mentioned uh he didn't mention if they were going to be legendary or not right I just put that here because I think they're probably going to be legendary Torgi and Ofura were red legendary uh but they could very well be epic commanders right I mean they could be anything we have we don't really know anything other than that they are kvk commanders so please take everything in this video with a grain of salt and until these commanders are in the game we won't know anything about their skills their talents or anything like that so if you see these images floating around Facebook groups and discords with an attached skill list just know that that skill list is Hey guys, I skimmed through three hours of Vietnamese footage to make this video. So please drop a thumbs up on it. It really helps out the channel a ton. Comment down below your thoughts on these two new commanders. Have you heard of them before? Are you excited for them to come into the game? And what do you think of KVK exclusive commanders? I would love to know from you guys in the comment section below. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video. And with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.